but it is an exciting day. So even though dad stops right there, you had to walk all the way down there, go around the corner and everything like that. So we're putting a culvert in today. So it's gonna be a 40 foot wide driveway. That way it's easy to get in and out of and swing and all that. And hopefully I'm gonna pull the tile that we pulled up in there out and use it for fill here because that would be very nice to get rid of that and have a place to put it. So talking to them right now to check that and then they're getting all these bumpers out of the way, putting those somewhere because don't want those there anymore, uh, especially with the driveway here. So it'll just go straight from that door basically right across the driveway. Pretty dang cool. Hey guys, welcome back for a new shop update video. So I'm really having fun um, starting to look at tailoring the shop to <laughs> see what I did there? Tailoring. Uh, tailoring the shop to look like what I kind of wanted to. I'm starting to create some Pinterest boards and things like that and get a game plan, pick out colors for the shop and stuff like that. But this is still the grunt work that has to come before the fun work. So uh, some cool updates still, however. So got a new driveway, did some dirt work, removed the pile from inside the shop, two birds, one stone, all the things. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I am. To fill part of the ditch, we're gonna move the tiles that were in here and use them as fill instead of having to have so much gravel. So killing two birds with one stone, getting rid of tiles and not having to buy as much gravel. Good win. And just like that, we got all the tile out. If we didn't have the backhoe, that would have really extra sucked. This room sucked because the backhoe doesn't fit in there. So we had to move all that pile out here into the bucket. It's probably the biggest pile, but we got it all done. Um, they're filling the culvert in now. And then I'll have to go through here, obviously, and like sweeping at the last bits and the dirt, but we'll have to come back and grind this and everything anyways. So. I mean, we're just one step closer, one step at a time, but getting that out, it's a big deal just because didn't know what we were going to do with it exactly. So this way I have to pay for less gravel and we got the tile out. Yay. Excited you don't have to walk all the way around. Yeah. Plus we can drive. Like when I leave, I back up, I can get a straight shot. Now I'm going to cut the corner every day. <laughs> Go through my driveway? I'm going to take 50 feet, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty nice. The, so there was two options. You have to talk loud because this is noisy out here. There's two options. There was a uh, 30 foot was expensive, and then a 40 foot wasn't much more if you do two 20s. So. Yeah. Yep. So we could have done even more, but that telephone pole's on the way, and this fire hydrant. There wasn't any point. Yeah. So this is gonna be cool. Look at it. Yeah, it's gonna help a lot. I put gravel on top of it, so it doesn't wash away. Yup. And then gonna clean this corner out here too. It's just nice to get the tile out because that was gonna be a feat in itself. Yeah, that's done now. Yeah, so I'll have to go through and like clean in there, but. That's a big tile. So I think we can probably come down a little bit more with this and then break this down. Clean out behind it. That way the water that comes down through here will wash out instead of just building yeah, up. Yeah, I agree. It's looking good. Okay. I got my driveway done yesterday. So today, I got a flat tire in my truck the other day on my brand new tires. And I think it might've came from around this area of my shop. So I'm going through hunting stuff. I've got a collection so far. And then after I get all of this, I think I'm going to pressure wash today my driveway. Not that this asphalt is super great. Um, it needs a little bit of maintenance, obviously, but for now, I'd like to at least have it clean. So pressure wash this dirt off, just get the gravels off, 
just clean it up and make it look nicer. Um, one step at a time. One step at a time. We got Dad's roof. We just re-roofed his office um, yesterday and today. Look, he's getting stuff. So, I think that's the next step, guys. Here we have Deb demonstrating this driveway. <laughs> She's going on a McDonald's run. She used my driveway coming back in. Nice. I know, it's just the driveway, but I'm so excited about it. So, I'm gonna keep talking about it, but I promise the knee will wear off at some point. But I am successful on my hunt so far. I found lots of pokey things um, that could stick in a tire. Got it. Look, it's kind of fun, it's like treasure hunting. I'll go show you my collection. Mm. Junk. But it's less junk in my driveway, so that's a positive. In case you're wondering, that's what Farmer Vincent looks like. <laughs> He's gonna plant bodies out here <laughs> and feed them until it's time to harvest them and then jerk them out with that tractor. <laughs> what? Your name Farmer Vincent? No, it's Joe. No, it's Vincent. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing? First time I looked out, he's going like the box plate's going. Eh, 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 I was trying eh, to back it down. Eh, eh. <laughs> but it's never touching the ground. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I finally thought, well, I better go see what's going on. So I walked him all the way over there limping. <laughs> and he get over here and he's going. Eh, 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 eh. Was, he, did, he said, have you ever driven a tractor? I said, yeah. <laughs> but I've never done anything with it. He goes, all right, I want you to come do this. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> Then he came over here. I was like, "Listen, I don't really know how to do this. I just know how to drive a tractor." He drove a little lawnmower. Yeah, <laughs> a yard tractor. <laughs> he, he called me and asked where the brake pedal was. <laughs> well, I was hitting this one. I wasn't doing nothing. I'm like, well, that's not the brake. Well, it's like 1969, Ben. Uh, yeah, the brake ain't that good. Worn out. I heard Dad picked up his phone. He says, "Nick Taylor." <laughs> I got back over there and walked in on my phone to ring. I was calling him before he even made Where, it over there. Where's the break? <laughs> well, yeah. But he's done well. I got a lot more driveway now. Yeah, Look at you that. Get this, if you can get the dirt off of it. Look, okay, so you got this, like, what is that, 300 square feet that, you got, that was covered in dirt? Yeah, there's a lot more now. Wow. All that water, you know, the dirt that accumulates in the driveway would wash down here with the rain and it piled up and just kept building up. Yeah. So this, all of this right around here is new driveway now. New parking lot. Parking That's lot. New That's driveway. driveway. And it looks so good. It does. And it you does. Got like three feet more down there because he scraped all the dirt off of that. It's cold over here. Yeah, it is. Right up here on the old rig. <laughs> The little rig. Your lungs are polluted with gasoline, right? It smells like really old gasoline. Like usually when you smell this type of gasoline, it don't start. <laughs> no mom It's not that old. No mom's in the hours in this tractor. That's his brain dead from smelling the fuel. The fumes. He's, he said his knee would hurt if he used it. My knee hurts and I'm my knee's not even injured. <laughs> it clutches. I gotta like throw my whole body weight just to get it in reverse. I gotta simultaneously slam the clutch and put it in reverse. And my dad was literally 80 years old and drove that thing for hundreds of hours. He loved it. Yeah. Back and forth, back yeah. and forth. So basically, Nick's dramatic. That tractor has been in the family a long time. Yeah, I was thinking that earlier because I was like, there's a lot of people that have driven that tractor. There's been a few times where like I hit the clutch and I turn around to look at something and I, my foot slipped and it's like, Rawr! and I always look back and make sure you guys aren't looking at it. <laughs> That's the one really thing. Nice. Break the transmission. I'll let Groot's helping over there. No, he's, he's not. He's clearing sticks. <laughs> Dude. He's a stick hound. I think Amiga lays right in the dirt. Yeah, right in the dirt. Good job. Good job, Blondie. <laughs> She's just watching. She's like, he's dumb. Would you look at all of this dirt work? Tractor's doing a good job. Mika's enjoying her new area. She came to talk as soon as I started talking. Hello, Mika. Hi, pretty girl. Groot's playing stick. 
So, you can see lots of dirt's moved. This right here was all mounded up with dirt. Um, from there over there. So now it's nice and flat. And that's flat, so it'll be a lot easier to clean off. And the rain won't puddle right there, so that's good. Let's check in over here. Dirt work! Day number two. <laughs> Two days for this little spot right here. I was gonna say, that's yeah. a lot of work. I bet there's like 300 passes just right here. There's probably like 500 really? tons of dirt down there. I guess you need to figure out how to be. 500 tons of dirt. 500 tons. You figure out how to be. Pounds and pounds is not enough, so I said five wheelbarrows full. You need to figure out how to be more efficient. No forward and backward. Yeah. <laughs> My well, dad hated know. that. They'd back up and then move forward and back up and move forward. Every time they're backing up, you're paying them for nothing. So oh, you gotta, right. you gotta make it. Yeah, you I've, gotta, been, I've been doing laps. This looks the like funny part is, I'm not paying you anything. So. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> gas is cheap because it gets, it gets good gas on it. <laughs> Anyways. All day yesterday, I still had gas on it. Tractor just needs a little tune-up, but it's uh it's trucking along. Nick touched it and Nick Let's broke see. it. No, I didn't. It could be me too. Oh yeah, we got two. I broke the forklift. <laughs> Mike did break the forklift. Yeah, I broke this. Well, you maybe. broke something on the roof. Oh, it was a forklift. It was a forklift. Oh, I broke your uh, pilot <laughs> drill a bit. <laughs> Say it again. If I didn't have a key all the way off and that pump was running, do you think it could have pushed back? It on? wasn't. If the, if the key was on it. It wasn't clicking though. I didn't hear the it. The needle and seat is. Bad. I've got a kit. Let me just go get wrenches and we'll fix it. Whatever the case is, so Mike is bad luck. He break like the other day we had the he forklift. Yeah, he broke it. Dad's I bought you another one though. <laughs> he had the forklift <laughs> raised up. Dad, and Mike asked me to move the forklift, and then Dad said it never doesn't start. It did not start. Oh no! <laughs> I feel I'm like two. Wrongs. <laughs> Did two wrongs not make a right? Because you guys. Well, I didn't know he told me. Where's the group? He blends in. Okay. Little chocolate. Actually, the carburetors needed rebuilt, but it's funnier to blame Mike and Nick. It's easier to blame others. I get blamed for everything. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> we are filming. Filming taking a carburetor off. I just wanted to see what you're doing here. We're gonna rebuild this. Luckily, I have a kit and stuff because I knew I needed it. Oh, right on the starter. Nice. It'll be all right. <laughs> Way he was cranking there, I thought, man, there's gas everywhere. If it catches on fire, it'll burn to the ground right here. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's it. It'll be all right. Why does it keep pouring? That's what's weird. Where's oh, turn the, the level valve off of over it. there. Hmm. I guess that's just draining. Okay, goodbye. What are you doing? Rebuilding little EFI. EFI. So if I was like all the other guys, it's like, throw that thing away and put a fuel injector on it. <laughs> it literally, it works like I broke it. Personally, I broke it. Oh, he broke it. I guess this is going to sit out, I guess. For like 10 minutes, probably. Oh. Well, all right. Have fun sitting here. Got things to do. Goodbye. Yeah, check the list. <laughs> bye. Okay, bye. Okay, thanks for ignoring me. Hey. Oh, we'll see you later. Hey. Stay go happy. Go. go happy. Be fast. All you got to do is read the back of Mike's shirt. Actually, Mike, this is a great time. Nice male model. Great. Ha, group, come here. Come Perfect. Here. Okay, this is a new shirt that Meg designed that is up on the site. You can get it. Accidentally plugging it, but shamelessly. Nice modeling. Very nice. Did it say I could pause some music? No. Did you just order a kit recently? We ordered a kit for basically for one item. This thing right here. I broke it when I had it apart. I had to take it out, and when I put it back in, you put a socket on it while I'm talking, and I tightened it up and snapped it. So I made one of these out of aluminum and put it in. That works. That's not even the problem. But I ordered a kit. I thought it'd be a whole kit. Look, there's not a gasket in there. Oh, 
Oh, there is a couple base. There's big gaskets not there. But what's happening right now is this is leaking. I mean, it's like 1969 vintage, and that's probably the original one. Hmm. So I'm going to replace the needle and seat if I can get this gasket off. See, there it is. That's the culprit. It was just gunked up and... Gunked. Oh, gunked and junked. We're going to unjunk it. it. He made a new friend. Did you get it fixed? I think so. Nifty. I'm going to find out. And she's back! Back in tractor action. You can work more. Yay! Also showed up. Start it. Run like a Swiss watch. It will. cleaner off it just poured fuel out so it's probably flooded yeah it probably needs to start sparkling yeah. and just like that the dirt work is done for now gotta go dig a ditch literally the culvert's buried but what not because of this what? just looks like it's been buried for a long time not talking to you what all right and that is a wrap for this video. I know it seems like small stuff, a culvert and cleaning your driveway and dirt work and getting tile out of the shop. It all seems maybe repetitive, maybe trivial, but I promise all these little projects are going to pay off big in the end. And for me, that is something that I'm very excited about. So the shop, I know it seems like it's turned into a construction channel lately. So thank you guys for bearing with me. And I hope you are actually enjoying it because who doesn't like to look at those cool shops you see on Facebook, you know, it's kind of neat. I always enjoy that. Um, and this is kind of that version for me, except I'm living it. It won't be a shower. It won't be that cool or barn dominium, but it'll be neat. And I promise it's in the spirit of hot rodding and uh, doing cool stuff with cars. So it's creating a space that allows me to continue to grow ATR as a brand, create really cool automotive content. Um, so dad and I can build more projects and do cool things. And we have another surprise because we're going to have some fun people joining us soon. Uh, that's really going to grow the automotive community in Boonville which is where we're from, which is where the shop's at. So lots coming up and the shop is going to aid in that. And I'm thankful to be getting to do it and thankful to be getting to share it and uh, having a lot of fun with it. So there'll be more bigger projects coming up soon, like picking and choosing how the outside is actually going to look. So working on the front fascia and or facade, whatever you want to call it, picking out colors, painting, stuff like that. So stay tuned, but don't worry. Still going to have lots of automotive content this year there's a full race season plan. I'm very excited about what is in store for the 55 this year. And uh, I feel really confident in the car. We have upgrades coming, racing, probably a new project somewhere in there because why not? I also have a full season of Hot Rod Garage. So I am currently in California right now shooting my second season, technically season 11 of Hot Rod Garage on Motor Trend. But I'm out here right now shooting the first episode for season two, season 11, however you want to label it, back out here for first episode, and Lucky and I are already diving into some really fun projects, so thank you guys for watching that as well, I hope you're enjoying Hot Rod Garage, but that is it for now, done rambling, I, uh, like I said, thank you, hope you enjoyed, and as always, be happy, go fast, and stay pretty, I will see you guys next time.